Today, the U.S. witnessed the total solar eclipse, and here in southern Nevada, we were not in the line of totality, but we did see it partially. Our Danny Mastin has more. 100 out of 10. It's amazing. Several people gathered outside of the planetarium at the College of Southern Nevada Monday morning to see the sky spectacle of the solar eclipse. Look, it's right there. Yeah, have a look, have a look. Oh, have a look. Including science lover Celeste Burnell. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, it's so much fun. We love having the folks come out to the planetarium. And it just, it, it really makes me happy to see folks excited about science. All of these folks out here are putting on their glasses. They're looking up. They're standing in a long line for telescopes. Andrew Kerr, manager of the planetarium, tells me the last time Nevada was able to see a solar eclipse in its totality was in 2017. As you can tell, they are rare and can only be viewed in specific areas for a short period of time. Through a trick of nature, the moon is about the same size as the sun is in the sky. So the moon can totally, when it passes in front of the sun, cover it completely for a small area of the Earth. The next time we will be able to see a total solar eclipse, Kerr says, will be in 2044. 2026, Spain gets a total eclipse. 2028 and 2030, it's down in Australia. There's other ones as well, but the, those are the ones most people would be most interested in. Partial or annual solar eclipses of any kind happen every two to three times per year. I'm Danny Mastin, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.